Okay, let's try this again. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now, Kev? Brother Klein, can you hear me? Can you hear finance? Can you hear me now? Are we good? Can you hear it? Okay, better. Thank you. Try my best. Okay, good. You got me. All right. Okay, cool. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. That was scary. I'm like, yo, what's going on? That's not good. We got to get this popping. Okay, finance on fleek. I'm here. Hadil, kill. Okay, Joey G, I see you. Mr. Right in here. Ron White. T Vega Vega in this thing. Cleve. Noah's Hard Tickets and four others. I don't know who the four others. Mr. Right. Okay, Kevin in here. Daily Ground Investor. What's good, baby? Oh, okay. I see you. Thank you so much, Drake. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Let me see if I can pin that. Thank you so much. Uh, roll with it. Jay Lightfoot, what's good? Successful real estate in here. Omar 910. Let's get all the bullies in. Let's get all the bullies in. Okay, I, I hopped on another. Okay, you dropped another loud to hop on mine. I appreciate that. No, it's hard tickets. That's what it's about. Uh, that's what it's about. It's going to be a fun live tonight. I see we got 43 bullies in the building, which is great. You Look, do me a favor. Who else? We got Denny in here, Jay Bull, Richie Rich in here, Tone in here, Nigel. I see you. What's up, Mr. Challenger? What's good? Adrian Shell in here. Richie Rich was cracking. Ron White in this thing. Killer, I see you. Superior Man, Triple Seven. What's good? That's good. Jay Bull, I see you. Chief Motivation. Silence in here. Style Daily. What's happening? It's a bossy one. Auntie CJ muscling up on them already. What's cracking? Okay, Queen Marley in here. Denny, okay. Von Bullies in here. I see you, LV. What's cracking? Big City Boy, what's up? 27 Life Lessons. Good to see you too. Uh, Keith, okay. A Candy B, okay. Style Daily. Okay, Phil Cook, what's good? Hey, okay, there we go. Flex with Sharon. I was making, you know, Flex Yoga. I see you. Uh, Phil Cook, okay, it's a bossy one. Okay, cute and sassy in here. Cute and sassy Babs. You know, I was, I've got to, you know, we can't start without you. Come on. Can't start with, come on in here. We can't start without you. Just Daisy Locks, what's good? Thompson in here. Look, tell a bully to tell a bully that they need to come check out the bullies. I don't know. Tell a bully to tell a bully. After you tell a bully to tell a bully, do me a favor. Hit the airplane, tell a whole lot of, yup, see, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ron White, Mr. Ron White, <laughs> oh, Lord, no. oh, I thank him. Hey, look, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. I appreciate if you hit that airplane because tonight what we're going to do is something powerful. What up, Jelly on here? Jelly Sweet, I see you. It's your fine self. What's up, though? What's up? You got a boyfriend? Holla at me. <laughs> Lavera was good. The real Tamika Dixon in this thing. Up to the sky here, UK goddess. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, look, airplane. You know why you hit that airplane? You hit that airplane because today I have something special for you. No games, no frusts, no frills, just all real. It's popping. You know why it's popping? Because I have a bully to present to you today. A magnificent bully, a wonderful bully. You know what I'm saying? You know, she just so happens to be amazing, you know? And um, I want you all to get ready to ask her questions. I want you to get ready to examine, to to uh, get with it because she's dope. <laughs> she's just super dope. Um, I don't want to take too much time, but it's going to be good. La Vie in here, Murphy in here. It's Brody's, I don't know, it's Brodesy? I don't know, but that sounds dope. Like Jodeci, Brody, Blue Collar Queens. What's up, Blue Collar Queens? What's good? Uh, studs on here, Money Over. Yup, yup, yup. John Lindsay, that's good. That's good. Cleveland here. <laughs> Deuce, what's good? What's good? The Spicy Bully on here, Greatest Rave. Not listening on here, just join. Uh, Draca, <laughs> y'all say, is it Draca? Is it Draca? Man, you would be surprised how many fantastic, talented women bullies, like the lady bullies are crazy with it. Like, psh, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Drake, Count Dracula. She's amazing to the community. Just a, a few things. You know what I'm saying? While I'm looking, I'm looking for pumps and politics on this thing. Uh, pumps and politics, wave at me if you're in here because I ain't seen you yet. I don't, I don't know. I'm reading all the names. But the amazing thing about Draca is her ability to see past herself and to really reach out and help people. You know, like I always say it, but that's the bully way. What we do is we help people. Hey, that's it. 
Ain't no, you know, we don't have no other games. We don't have no other tricks. Ain't nothing else we could do. We help people. We help them get to the bread. We help them learn how to trade. We help them in life. We help them if we know something that they don't know. We, You know, that's what the name of the game is. And I'm so appreciative. Openly, I appreciate her right now. I applaud her and everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just drop a little Dracula for her in there. You know what I'm saying? Drop a little Dracula with the muscle up. You already know. For our, uh, for Count Draca. <laughs> Count Dracula. You know what I'm saying? Always in there. Peace of blessings. Oh, this spicy one. It's Victor in here. Hey, it's Victor. It's eight. He went up what? What you went up? Eighteen hundred a day, eleven hundred a day. Crazy, 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 crazy. The ladies' bullies go hard. I see that. I see that. I'm wrong. Okay, okay. I got something special for you, man. I got something from Florida. Working, selling textbooks. Always wanted to invest in yourself. Heard about this trading thing, so you get to this right. trading thing. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. So now you you see me on a Thursday night, you grab the course. Cool. Let's do it. Do you actually get right to it that night? You kind of put it on the shelf for a little while. Like, tell me what what is it like jumping into the course for the first time, getting to know the community for the first time, jumping into the trade room. Tell me a little bit about that fear, anxiety, apprehension. Give me the whole vibe. Man, it's overwhelming at first, okay? Like it's so much like the information is crazy. Can I can I introduce y'all to somebody? Can I introduce you? <laughs> Everybody, hey. ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all, y'all talk about stocks and stilettos, but this is the pumps and politics bully right here. Hey. Y'all make some noise for Destiny in the house. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all put some hearts in there. Show us some love. Show us some love. <laughs> Destiny's in the building. I'm what's excited. Up, what's up? Listen, I'm excited to be here. I'm, thank you for having me, Jay. I appreciate nah, it. You already know. You already know. Everybody. Everybody, this is destiny. When hey. I'm on the uh, live and when I'm we talking in the trade room, <laughs> finally you you meet destiny. She's the one. Okay, okay, Mr. Wright, I see you showing love. John Lindsay in there showing love. UK God is showing love. Rico Trader. Look, I'm not gonna hey. bury the lead, folks. She's funded. She's gonna get funded. She beat the combine. So hey. let's just say she beat the okay. Let's not bury the lead. You see it? Oh, oh, who's next? <laughs> Hit him with <laughs> Let's Listen, okay. I, I officially submitted my combine today. Um, and, man, I can't be more excited. I, I, I won 800 over my goal. So, man, it, it was just epic to finish it like that. But real talk, it took me five times. So <laughs> let, 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 let's be real. Let's be real here. It took me five times to get that joint done. Okay. Um, it's all good. I want to pull you back. I want to pull you back. That's, right. that's now. So what we doing, we front load the story so you know where we going. Uh, somebody say curls popping though. Curls oh, popping. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I done messed my phone up trying to fix the curls. Okay. Curls popping. I see you. I see you. Another funded trader. Go girl. Go girl. So all the bullies praising you up. That was that was that's what we know right now. Let's push it back. Yeah. Let's push it back. Let's go. Let's go back to the first time you ever met me, ever, and ever saw me. Where was that? Let's go all the way back there. Um when I first started dating my current boyfriend, uh, he was like, Oh, it's my homeboy's birthday. We're going to go out to Wynwood and celebrate this guy's birthday. And, uh, yeah, I went out to Wynwood, and we got nice and tore up. We had some wings together, and um, it was a great night. It was a great night. Fantastic. Now, you meet me as your, your guys, your man's homeboy. Shout out to Clint, Ike, to the bruh, right? So you meet me, you know what I'm saying, that way. Cool. Mm -hmm. When did you find out that I was a trader? How did that happen? So I was, um, like, once coronavirus had hit, I was just interested in trading. I just kept talking to, to Clint about trading. Like, I just want to I just wanna learn more. And he kept saying, Jay does this. Like, Jay does this. Like, go follow that guy. Like, stop playing. Like, go follow that guy. And I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. And I just kept putting it off. And then finally, I'm like, all right, let me just find this guy and follow him. So I started following you. And I was like, oh, he, he might be talking about something. And then um, you had a Thursday night, uh, one of the free class where you just kind of talk about, you know, the overall day trading thing. And yeah. I was like, all right. And um, real talk, I, I did the Thursday night thing. And I was like, yeah, this seems legit. Like, I'm, I'm, I signed up that night. I was like, yeah, I'm going to sign up tonight. And I'm Really? 
So you're not one of the people that followed me for a long time and had to see all the proof. You was just like, yo, I'm, I'm with it. What gave you that tenacity? What gave you that, like, I can do this? What gave you, like, oh, this is the right? Like, how does this sound, like, legit? Like, what gave you that confidence in me or confidence in yourself? Like, what did that? Well, to be honest with you, like, the whole coronavirus thing, like, it just really taught me to invest in myself. And, like, I honestly was just like, listen, the amount of money that it costs to take your course, like, it's an investment in me. Even if I drop the ball and it doesn't work out, I tried and I invested in myself. So I'm just on a whole, like, invest in myself vibe. Like, I want to like invest that. in my own learning and I invest like in my own I like that. just greatness. Yeah. Hey, somebody, y'all y'all type that. Invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in yourself. That is such a big thing. We talked about that in the room today. So let's go back even before me. <laughs> Can you tell us your name, where you're from? a little bit about yourself, what you do, et cetera, et cetera, so that people can get to, to know you. Yeah, of course. So I'm Destiny. I'm originally from Newburgh, New York. Newburgh. Newburgh. Okay. Nobody's heard of it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rap. Let me be great. Okay. Um, and I now currently live in South Florida. Um, yeah, so I live in the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. Mm -hmm. And um, I sell textbooks for a living. So I sell books Hold to different school what? districts. What? what? You do what yeah. now? I sell textbooks to schools for a living, how, yeah. How I, does that work? Break that down. Like, so you sell the textbook? Like, you write textbooks? You like Break that down. <laughs> how does that work? Tell me that. So I, um, yeah, I go to the different districts. So, for example, I'll go to, like, Miami-Dade County, and I'll say, hey, this is the books that I have available. Um, and I, I go in, um, I try to pitch it to them, and I try and sell them. And it's actually a multi-million dollar industry that a lot of people don't know about. Um, and, yeah, these school districts spend millions of dollars every year on textbooks. And um, it's really hard to get into the industry, actually. And um, now that I'm in it, I probably won't ever leave it. Maybe, maybe because I'm about to make so much money trading. But wait a minute. Um, <laughs> but besides that, like, it's just one of those industries where once you get in. Right. So once you're in it, I mean, it's a thing. It's over. You're good. Yeah. Like you just basically you just go from company to company. And I like you that. just, you know, switch it up. Yeah. I like that. So from Newburgh, New York. A. Hey. Uh, move to South Florida, work in selling textbooks, always wanted to invest in yourself, heard about this trading thing. So you get to this right. trading thing. Okay. Right. Okay, cool. So now you, you see me on a Thursday night, you grab the course. Cool. Let's do it. Do you actually get right to it that night? You kind of put it on the shelf for a little while. Like, tell me what, what is it like jumping into the course for the first time? getting to know the community for the first time, jumping into the trade room. Tell me a little bit about that fear, anxiety, apprehension. Give me the whole vibe. Man, it's overwhelming at first, okay? Like, it's so much, like, the information is crazy. Like, um, it's like a learning a foreign language. If you're not in finance, you have no idea what you're doing. So, um, yeah, it's like a foreign language. So at first you got to get in. The first thing I did was uh, I joined the Thursday classes, you know, every day. I joined the Sunday trainings for a couple weeks and then i asked one day in a sunday training i was like hey when am i supposed to get in on the daily stuff and everybody's like you've been supposed to do that you're supposed to start that right away and i'm like yeah. why like i don't know anything but i realized that when you listen in in the morning every single morning like you start to pick up the lingo you start to understand oh this is going short oh that's going long oh this is oh it's flagging today like at first you're like what what is going on like i have no idea what they're talking about and then you just pick up and now you're using the lingo and the lingo. So it takes a little while, but um, you just got to jump in head first. Like you just got to go in and just open up an account, open up your Ninja Trader account. You got to get on SIM. You got to lose $500. You gotta, <laughs> as Jay would say, you got to get your head blown off. Um, yeah. And yeah, you got to just go for it because otherwise you're never going to learn that way. Yeah. I think that's the most powerful part about it. I think failure is the first step to success. And oftentimes I tell the bullies, go ahead and fail. Let's get that part out the way. That's, you know, you do that and it's good. So Cats. you get into the course material. What was your, well, like, what was first? Like, you love the gaps, you love the, what is like, what did you start gravitating towards and how quickly were you able to get a handle on the material? Did it take you a week? Did it take you three days, a month? What did it, you know, like, what did it take? 
I'm gonna say it takes a, it takes a few weeks to get really the the grasp of everything. When I yeah. first started, the easiest thing for me to learn, the easiest trade for me to learn was the gap trade. Yeah. Um, it's it's real easy. You you kind of pick that up and you can start to see them and you can be like, all right, that's a gap trade. Um, but now that I'm more um, acclimated to the whole trading thing, like my my thing is a levels trade. I like to go in. I like to put my levels out there. Uh, I have my daily levels. I have my um, my hourly levels. Um, I know what levels are stronger than other levels. Um, I color code them. Um, and it's like, I feel that that much of a trader. And somebody else asked me that. Somebody DM me one day and was like, oh, what do you trade? Like, what, what's your favorite trade? And I was like, right now I'm a levels trader, but I've been looking at the two candle people and like, they about to put me on. Like, put me on to the two candle rule because I ain't got it yet. I'm ready to be the two candle girl too. So, um, <laughs> I said, you pick it, you go, you and just pick a, pick one at a time and just go slowly. I'm going to learn all of them. After I get the two candles down, I'm going for the mother bar inside bar trade. Like, I want to yeah. know all of them, but I got to take my time and just really perfect one at a time because otherwise you just get overwhelmed. Right, right. It can be overwhelming in the beginning, but you say it took you for a few weeks to get your, your feet up under you and then you felt like you knew what was going on. When was the moment, how long did it take you to feel like, yo, I think I'm ready for a, a combine or ready to be funded or, or something like that? For me, I think it was like month four. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to jump in this combine. You know, I'm, I'm getting in here. Yeah. And, um, you know, Jay talks about it all the, con all the time. The combine is different. Like, they have very, very strict rules on how they want you to trade. Yes. So now for four months, I've been trading my own way. I've been just winging it doing my thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> going in getting my head blown off coming back i was calling myself the comeback queen because i would be down 1200 and then i'd be up 500 and i'd be like yeah yeah, I yeah. you know I how to muscle it. up okay <laughs> but i was realizing like you say all the time like destiny your entries are wrong like i'm going in at the wrong time like i'm not taking my time because i shouldn't be down 1200 in order for me to get up to five i look i look I'm, I'm losing 17 at this point like now i'm really I could have had 1700 because right. I done took so many bad trades to put me down 12 yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? So I had to really, really figure it out. So it took a while. Yes. You see that was Nikki said, Nikki said, thanks for saying that destiny. I was trying to do that. Uh, I was doing, trying to do too much at one time. I'll be back in the trade room next week, perfecting one trade at a time. Facts. I'm telling you, it means so much. Look, everybody, if you don't know, there's a hundred of us on here. Look, hit the airplane, share this with somebody. Because we're talking to Destiny, Miss Pumps and Politics, that bully that just beat the combine on them. And I want you all to see what she's saying. And also ask questions. You can hit that little question button at the bottom. So that way, because you know the question, you know the chat kind of going fast, we might miss something. And I don't want to miss a question that you might have for her. So hit that question. And that way we're able to, you know, make sure she can answer the questions for you. So you get in the course. Of course, you have like such a belief in yourself. I think that's one of the things that might be a superpower of yours, your ability. Where did you get that faith from, the faith in yourself, the bet on yourself ability? How did you get that? Where did you get that from? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Like the first thing, like when I even first joined, joined this, I got a brother that's locked up right now. He's doing 20 years. And um, what I don't want him to do is come home and, and, and fall into this trap again. You know what I'm saying? So right. when I first started learning about this i'm like listen i could teach my brother this like i could teach my brother this and he he can make money he don't never got to work for nobody he don't got to worry about nothing so if i perfect this then i can teach it to him and i can teach it to others and be able to like really give my family a support system that they never have to worry or rely on the man you know what i'm saying right because right that's the biggest thing to, to have no reliance to create independence and to create freedom for yourself Facts. you know what i'm saying so you um you take the combine the first time you jump in that thing and how did it go i got my head blown off <laughs> how long did it take <laughs> <laughs> listen i didn't get past i've never gotten past the 10 days i just kept okay. like losing 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 and i lost for different reasons every time right were you learning yeah. about the trades or were you learning about yourself? Were your losses because lack of information or lack of personal exploration? Man, so it's a combination of both, right? It's a combination okay. of 
I'm not studying enough. I don't know enough, and I'm don't I'm I'm jumping out the window by even trying this. Right? It's a combination yeah. of that, and I gotta I gotta I gotta pull it in, and I gotta actually get this information together. And then the other combination of is like I'm getting into trades too soon. I I gotta take my time, or and not having the willpower to know when to stop. Like right. I'm down five hundred. Let me close my computer and walk away. No, I'm over here like, now nah, I'm about to make all of this money back. I'm eager. Uh, <laughs> you going to get me. Like, I'm like, now I'm angry. And now I'm like revenge trading versus yeah. like just shutting my computer and walking away. So now I'm revenge trading and now I'm down 1250 and now I'm, I'm, now I'm kicked out for the day. And right. I could have went down five and walked away and seen tomorrow. But now I'm <laughs> revenge trading and now I done lost the whole, you know what I mean? I, I, I lost it all. Right, right. That's self-control. So you learn to self-control. You learn to balance out your energy. You learn how to, um, you learn how to jab when you got your shot. You know how to wait when it's really not your turn yet. You feeling the pace of the market. You getting through this last combine. What was the moment for you that you felt like, oh, I'm gonna do it. Like it's gonna so, happen. So I'm gonna be honest. So like I realized that like I don't have to trade in the morning the market moves very fast in the morning and if you can't if you don't feel it step take a step back mm. and trade in the afternoon when it's slow so that between 12 and two o'clock it's the the market start flagging it becomes very 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 predictable for me now that i've done yeah. seen i've been watching it for months i've been watching it all morning now i've I got i have a prediction as to this is where it's gonna go up it's gonna go down also jay like Every single day before he hangs up, he says, this is my overall analysis of where I feel like the market is going to go. I feel like the market is, it's been, it's been, it's way too high. I got to take some steam off. Probably like two o'clock, it's going to take this steam off and it's going to fall. And lo and behold, trust and believe, 95% of the time when he do that overall day analysis, it's true. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So I find myself being like, you know what? I, I don't have to trade at nine o'clock in the morning when everything's going crazy. I could trade at two o'clock when it's slow down. I've been watching it all day. I've seen it's flagging between oh nines and oh four. So you know what? I'm gonna sell oh nines every time I hit it. And then wait, go back to oh four. As soon as I go back to oh nine, I'm gonna sell them bad boys again. Next thing you know, I'm five hundred up. I'm eight hundred up. I'm like, oh, I got it. I found my niche. Like I found <laughs> what I need. That's so beautiful. For me, hearing someone, like, you know what I always say, I don't want a robot. So hearing mm -hmm. somebody say, Jay, I took what you gave me, and now I do it like this. Like, that's the idea for you to right. find your personality, your imprint, how you do it. Because I don't think two traders can trade alike. I think right. one person is made the way they're made, and then they have their proficiency skills, and they do what they do. They don't have mm -hmm. to do what I do. And I don't know if you notice this, but everybody's like, yo, thank you, thank you, that's so true. That's what's happening with me, and what's happening with me. So what was that moment? What was that moment where you were like, yo, I'm going to beat this thing? Like, um, I got Well, it. I just, listen, I was determined I was going to beat that thing. But then I realized, like, at first, because the first time I tried it, I did the $150,000 combine. Right. And I realized that, like, I'm, I'm doing six contracts. Like, yeah, I'm winning big, but I'm losing bigger. So... Yeah. I'm getting my head blown. So, like, you know, I'm going to slow it down. So I did the $50,000 combine. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your, your, your rule is to um, only trade one third of it. So I've been trading two contracts. So I'm thinking to myself, yo, with two contracts, I can, I can throw $500 easily. Easy. Like, just like, and once I realized that, like, I don't need six contracts to go $500. I don't need that. I can do five hundred dollars in one or two trades. If if I'm feeling froggy, you know what I'm saying. I'll do four or five trades, and now I'm up a thousand. So on my combine, I did three days. I did a thousand dollars, and my goal was only two hundred. And in three days, I did a thousand dollars. So when they looked at my consistency, because I called today and was like, "I'm ready to submit." She was like, "All right, let me look at your consistency." She was like, "Oh, you did a, your, your 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 largest day was a thousand dollars, and you did it three days in a row." And let me tell y'all, I stopped. I stopped because I was like, I don't want to, I, like, I, I've already, I already hit my goal. Like, I'm, I'm done for the day. Like, I could have kept going. Those are the days that I did $1,000, they, they could have been $3,000 days. Real talk. It could have been $3,000 a day. I was like, you know what? I'm in this combine. I'm going to chill. I'm going to stop. But trust and believe, once I get my live accounts, 
Oh, I'm going for three G days, okay? I'm going for <laughs> Chanel and Prada in a day, okay? <laughs> Come and, you, and you have a right to it. I love it. I love the fact that you learn what you learn. I, you know, we always talk about two mountains. It sounds like you climbed them both pretty good, and you're at a place right now where it's like full seams ahead, full steam ahead. I love that. I love it. So you're in the combine. You finish. Today was your day. How do you feel the moment where you where you felt it like I completed the combine? What was that feeling like? Bruh, after five times, like I made my boyfriend take me out for drinks. Like we need food. Like treat me. I'm. I just. I killed it. Do you not know? Like take me out. Like we're celebrating. This is greatness right here. Okay. <laughs> so. I was on there. I was in there like swimwear. I was like, this is a celebration. Um, and again, I hit, my, I hit my goal like five days before I was supposed to. So yeah. I've been just, you know, for the last couple of days, I'm just like, oh, I'll do $100. I'll do $75. Today, I, I did one trade. I made $75. I was in and out. I was like, all right, let me call them up. Tell them I'm ready to go. Like, but <laughs> but I, I was, you know, but it took a while to really get my graphs, to really put my feet in. Like, I've been doing this for six months. So... Like, don't jump in and think you're going to jump out the window and be in this position next month. Like, take your time, learn the material, really understand it. And, like, and then, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it takes time. Like, you really got to want this. And, like, trust me, like, I'm, I'm a mother. This whole coronavirus, my, I've been homeschooling. I've been working from home. But you know what? I want this. I wake up every morning. And I'm like, I'm going in the trade room. I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to study tonight. Like, this is extra, and I need to, I need to get this bag. So... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I know a yeah. lot of us women got a lot on our plates, but like, trust me, this is this is a forever bag. Like nobody ever like if, if I ever lose my job, like I'm good. I'm good. Like nobody has to employ me ever again. I'm good. <laughs> Yo, we talking to a big bully right now. You know what I'm saying? Destiny's in the house, and she's really dropping it on you. Like I want you all Next. to hear, but I want you I want you all to hear what's happening between. You know what she said? Hey. Whatever your timing is, is your timing. Your responsibility is doing the work. There's no such thing as a shortcut. You got to go in here. You got to learn. Yeah, Jay going to teach you and it's going to be cool, but you better go in here and do the work. And if you're not willing to, the, to do the work, don't look for the results. It's simple. It's Facts. simple. Do the work. And guess what? If you get knocked down, get up. Brush yourself off. Get your Five times. Right. Get back to work. That's the thing. And I love it. I love it. Drake will say unemployable. I'm okay. telling you, it's tough. She said, she said forever bag. Yeah, she did Hello? say forever bag. Yup. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> Hold on. It's some questions for you, sis. It's some questions. Um, you know, my spicy bully, sis, what you sipping on? Like, what's that? Yee! It's that hen and pineapple. I'm celebrating, y'all. I'm I'm celebrating. It's a celebration. We got we got the cocktails going. Of course we do. This is what we do. Pen and pineapple. Uh, the lady wants it a little strong. Facts. <laughs> 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 I ain't have time Draper to run out says, to the store and get that. Have black you girl changed magic. up anything since being funded? Do you trade the same? What you changed up? I'm doing I want to. I want to <laughs> trade the same. Um, I think, yeah, I just, yeah, I want to trade the same. I want to look at the market all day. I want to train in the, um, you know, trade in the morning, trade in the afternoon. I want to just feel it out. Like, I just want to be more patient. Like, at the end of the day, real money is on the line. Like, yeah. this is real money. This is, this is, you know, I got a job. Thank God I'm blessed. Um, but this is all that extra. This is me, you know, I, I, I've been telling my boyfriend, I, I want to fix my floors. I'm about to tear up these, this carpet. I'm about to put some hardwood down here, okay? I'm about to do all of these projects that I always wanted to do because I got the bread to do it. Like, now this is extra bread. This is, this is whatever you want. Like, let's go to Morton's tonight. Like, I want to spend a hundred, you know, dollars on a steak. Like, like this is that extra bread. Like, this is, this is that forever bag. This is that financial freedom that we talk about, that we see people have that like we only see celebrities have you know what i'm saying like no nah, i can have that too and i want that and i'm about to go get it oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go Kim and sassy bab says did you go through the videos first or did you do the trade room and the videos at the same time so i was at first i started going through the videos at first but um my advice is do them at the same damn time 
Um, go through the videos, go through the basic videos, because this is what we don't want you to do. What we don't want you to do is come in and say, how do I open a chart? Like everybody is in there, you know what I'm saying? These are some seasoned, these are some seasoned um, traders in the room. So like, you know, people have been in here for months and then you come in on your first day, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do I open this chart? And it's like, sis, if you would, if all you had to do was watch the video. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we don't want you to do, but we definitely want you to come in the trade room. Like come in the trade room, you know what I'm saying? And just listen in, like ask questions though, because I will tell you one thing, if just because you have a question, somebody else got that question. It's 200 people in the trade room. So everybody got a question um, and they, and they want to hear the same thing. So um, don't be afraid to ask a question. Just don't ask a question or, or, or don't be surprised to hear, did you watch the videos? Because we will ask you, did you watch the videos? <laughs> Why you can ask me some of my answer, record it, and then have put in a place accessible for you. I feel you on that. I like that. I like that. Not everybody talking about who got the best steak. Don't worry. It'll be in the trade room tomorrow. It'll be a poll. I don't heard somebody say Capitol Grill. Somebody's like Del Frisco's. I see a few people talking about they did and they stay game together. I'm going to tell you, I got the best steak in, in, in Florida. Easy. Uh, Mint Green, how many trades do you need to master one at a time before you know you're ready for the combine? How many trades do you need to be ready for the combine? That's I, I, I want to say at least two. I want to say at, at least no two trades down pack, right? At least have, you know what I'm saying, either be a uh, mother bar, inside bar, two candle levels, that gap. So you need to know at least two of them because if one doesn't work out, you need a backup plan. Yeah. You need something yeah. to you need something to fall back on. So have at least two so that way you can see something else. You know what I'm saying? Like cuz gaps 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 are, they're gonna, they they might not come today. You know what I'm saying? Or it might come and it might not get filled. You, your gap might get ran, it might get ran away on. So <laughs> um, you need something else. Like if if that's your only trade, then what are you gonna do to be able to make money? <laughs> Jelly said, "Yeah, y'all be calling at twelve a.m. asking how to connect." Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> so, stop it, man. <laughs> so, so, girl, you don't threw me off my whole vibe. Okay, next, next question, next question, next question. Um, somebody said, "I work now to three thirty, so how can I be a trader?" Listen. You can either call in and listen on your phone and not look at it. Just be have, just have your earplugs in. Just like you've been listening to music at work, listen to the trade room. If you, um, guess what? Wednesday night, Count Dracula hold a, host a, um, a class every Wednesday night at 6.30. Or t I'm not sure. Put, put, this, put it in the time, um, Drake. It's, it's 5.50 on Wednesday nights. Bullies at the dark. <laughs> exactly. They, they in the trade room every Wednesday night. We also have a group called... Um, slack that you can ask a question any time of the day um and somebody will answer it for you if you want to go in with somebody besides jay jay not the only trader if you want to go in and go one-on-one -on -one with somebody trust me a lot of people will go one-on-one -on -one with you and be like listen let's let's talk about it um lamar was talking people make, people have made friends okay people have made friends through this so friends across the country real yeah. talk it's, it's it's friends have been made across the country i i don't i don't know half of these people but I'll call them by their first name. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like we group chatting. I done got so many DMs. Um, the other day when I when Jay posted that I passed, I done got 50 new followers. And a lot of y'all sisters been in there talking about, girl, you look good. Thank you. Listen, I love it. Let's black girl magic. Let's support one another. Like, and the support is all the way around. So trust me, 7 30 to 3 30. That 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 means nothing. Get in the trade room. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The question is, what's gonna stop you? If if somebody said that everything you need was on the other side of this wall, you gotta get to the other side of the wall. Go ahead and get to it. Um another question is, I'm not available in the AM due to my work schedule. Are there any other alternatives? Yeah, trade all day, trade at night. Right? Mm-hmm. Trade all night. Market close at four. Well, if you're in a combine, you gotta be out of a trade by four yeah. fifteen, um, and then it open back up at six p.m. and you can get right back in, right back yep. in six p.m. So yep. the market closed for an hour and forty five minutes, and you can trade all day, all night if you want. Some of these bullies be at three o'clock in the morning. One of the dudes, he, he in London. I don't know how he be in the trade room. Let's say it's a six hour time difference. That guy is in there every morning, every yep. morning, and from yep. London. Like and it's no excuses. None. None. Get to the money. Jay was in the trade room on Labor Day, so 
you was off that day. Get in the room. That's it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Do you do any <laughs> options? That's the question for you. you. You trade the options? Um, I haven't really, I don't really do the options yet. I tried, I got my head blown off. I, I haven't learned it the way that I need to learn it. Um, as of right now, I'm just trading futures and I do long-term investments. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love that. I love that. The futures. Uh, somebody say be bigger than your excuses. I see you choose Hello. sassy paps. You got to be bigger yeah. than your excuses. Look, out of everything that you got from the course material, the community, the everything, what would you say was like, man, if it had not been for this, I would not have been able to be successful? What was like the most important thing for you? Man, it, it, it's no one thing. Like, it's really, I, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm going to be frank with you. I tell Jay this, Jay is on to something right now. Like, this is like a movement, and I wholeheartedly believe in this man, and I really feel like he is on to, like, real greatness right now. Like, I, I've told multiple of my friends. I got like four friends in the trade room. I got four friends that I'm trying to get into the trade room. Um, like this, this is real big. Like in inside the trade room, yeah, we trading, but we also talking about Black Lives Matter. We also talking about the Black wealth generational gap. Like, I mean, it's a movement. Like we, like I'm in a room full of Black husbands and fathers who want to support their children. Like, like these aren't the people who. You, the, the the world portrays us to be and but they're in this room and Jay have put them together and like this is really the beginning so I'm gonna say if you're not in it right now like you this is this is class A like this is class A this is going all the way to Z and um, I'm gonna tell you like this is the best time to be in this room because he got time to listen to us once this thing blow up to 60,000 it's gonna get a little crazy and it's going there it's going to 60,000 okay he about, I told him, uh, me and his wife gonna be frolicking uh, down the Louis store because this is going <laughs> crazy and this is going to be nuts. And um, I, I believe in him and I just really feel like, like, this is it. Like I've learned something that I, I'm ne like, nobody ever can never take this away from me. Ever. Never. Ever. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> ever. Never. So I see the um, baby. I see the baby. You got to pull up here. So, and you got to introduce her. <laughs> At this point, you gotta introduce her now. Listen, the, she the, she won't she won't lead the camera if I give her if I if I let her in. <laughs> I love babies. I love babies like that. They ain't never seen a mirror they don't like. Ooh, look okay. Ooh, look, ooh. Okay. Hit them with the angles, baby. Hit them with them. Hit Do you see the, the angles? Babies? Okay. <laughs> um, but it's a fact. Like Wall I, Street I, I, is I, online now, so join. I, I tell know. I tell the chat all the time how grateful I am just to be in that room, just to be in there with so many people who are just like me. Like, you know, I, I'm, I come from a community where I'm a dime a dozen, you know what I'm saying? And, and I say that in regards to being young, black, and educated and really wanting to progress in life, right? But I'm in a room with 200 people like that every day. And the conversations that we have are just phenomenal. I mean, it's refreshing. It just... It goes from LeBron James to, damn, how can we improve as a community? <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy. So not only am I learning every single day and I'm learning a trade that's gonna, that, that I have forever, but, like, I'm, I'm just getting the emotional juices that I need, especially during this time. That's so powerful to me. That's so powerful to me. Because you know how, how we both share this belief, especially as parents. We want our kids to be better than we, we got it. We want them to have it better than we had it. And, like, mm -hmm. a lot of that is just the iron shopping and the iron. Um, the room yeah. ain't like, oh, yeah, er, I'm the best, <laughs> so listen to me. No. The room is like, yo, what did you say about that? Or tell me your opinion mm -hmm. on this. Or what do you think about this? And iron sharpen iron in that room. The bullies make the bullies better. Period. You know what I'm Facts. saying? If I, if I hear you correctly... I think one thing that you, if I could say this openly, and I want to say this openly, one thing that you contribute to the community is such a level of openness, honesty, and authenticity. And at the same time where you're keeping it super real, it is definitely 1,000% professional on your, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's 1,000% on every eye. But I'm so grateful for the fact that you come in and you keep it so very honest <laughs> about yourself and about everybody else. I'm so grateful for that because oftentimes Thank you. people think that, oh, yeah, I'm going to jump in and in two weeks I'm going to be a millionaire. 
And it's like, nah, I remember when Destiny was like, yeah, I just put this trade on and eventually turn green. But you know that eventually can't work if you're really trying to get to the bag. You got to know where you at. And then I watched her sharpen herself and sharpen herself. And it went from a lot of questions. If you notice, it went from a few questions and you got silent. You stopped asking me anything. I was like, oh, she must be locked in over there. Then one of those days, I was like, all right, everybody post your PL. And you posted PL. I was like, all right, I see you over there. What you doing? You combine it over, like, what's going on? And then you told me, okay, cool, I'm in the combine. And I was like, okay, she's going to be all right. Because once you feel that, I know your, your personality, if I could, like, nobody slaps you without you slapping them back. That's, That's not going to happen. So when that market Hello. hit you that first time, I was like, oh, they in for it. She, they should have never touched her. They should have just let her win. Because the first time you came back and you had to come back, I knew you were going to be all right. Tell me, where do you get the resiliency from? Where do you get that fight back from? Man, listen, I'm from the hood. I want more. Like, my grandmother raised me being a, a cleaning lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, I owe it to her. I owe it to my daughter to provide more, to have more, to be more. Um, like, I just want my daughter to look up to me and be like, man, that woman is, is, is unstoppable. And um, I have no choice but to be unstoppable myself. And that's all. That's, like, that's the motivation. That's the goal. And you just got to keep pushing, man. Like, I have no choice but to be great. If I don't get out here and be great and take care of my daughter, ain't nobody else going to do it. So I got to do it. And I don't want to just do it. I want to do it above and beyond like my daughter needs to be in gymnastics like if if she got an opportunity to be the next gabby douglas i need to be able to pay for it you feel me like i need to be able to provide her with any and every opportunity that pre that presents itself if you want to swim if you want to do gymnastics if you want to do karate and then the next day you figure out it's ballet by all means go and do it because i can afford to do so like we all you know grew up in a situation where we we couldn't do that you know what i mean we had to we had to hear no and I, if, if I say no, it's because you don't deserve it. It's not because I don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I still want you to be able to work for things. And I want her to know all of those things. But I'm just trying to teach my daughter. I'm just trying to, like, just be that motivation, be that drive. And yeah. I, I, I ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah. You talking that bully talk now. Y'all can right. keep them Lambos. My kid's is comfortable. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. You talking that bully talk. And, and after everybody comfortable and I know I'm good, I still might get me a limbo. Who are we talking that bully talk? Hello? Now you made me excited. You I got fancy face too now. Oh, you made me excited. <laughs> um, is training easy to follow? Is the training easy to follow in your opinion? Listen, um, it's not going to be easy at first. You're going to be like, what the hell did I sign myself up for? Like, what is this? Um, but I will say this. Now that, I, now that I understand how to read a candle, how to read a chart, there's nothing the market the market can't surprise me like i can read apple's chart now like i could do like i've like learning futures like I, I i was telling somebody this earlier like this is level three like you know what i'm saying like level one is like i'm gonna go buy a stock today like i'm gonna go buy one share of apple level two is like all right i'm gonna try an option you know what i'm saying futures is level three because you got to be able to read a chart you got to be able to read these candles you got to be able to predict where you think this market is gonna go if you can master that then level one and two is like what are you talking about like that's easy that's that's like like you're talking to me about you know the alphabet and i'm out here reading greek like you know what i'm saying like this is it's, it's a different level so it's worth all it's worth all of the learning like it's gonna it's not gonna be easy like trust me like you're not gonna get in here and be like oh i know what i'm doing tomorrow like no it's gonna be hard it, it, it's it's a challenge this is something new so people go to school for this for four years okay Four years they go to school for this and they still struggling with it like this is you 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 this is he's teaching you something this is better than a college no, course no. like for 273 dollars like them i'm about to pay off my student loans with this i'm about to, i'm about to you know i'm about to be great with this like this is better than a college course like i'm i'll be honest with you if i could go back and go to college or choose this course man i'm choosing this like that's crazy like this is this this, like, this guy is giving this class away. To be honest with you, I've been telling this guy this class is too cheap for the longest. But, like, I get it. This is for the culture. Like, he's doing this for the culture. He's doing this to, like, pull you in and to give you an opportunity to learn something. Like, if you're going to get in here and not, and, and, and not use it, then fine. Jay, go spend a 273 and, and have a nice day. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That man getting paid, but he really out here trying to help you. Like, he really out here sacrificing his family and his, you know what I'm saying? His, his time with his wife and his kids to, to put y'all on. Like, y'all better run with this. 
<laughs> so, hold on. I think we got another question. My bad. <laughs> First of all, you lit. You already hey. know. What up, baby? What up, baby? How you doing, sweetheart? Say what's hi. Up? What's up? Hi. hi. Um, wow, you gotten so big since the last time I saw you. You're like a big girl now. Okay, okay. Girl, so. <laughs> um, oh, you got to turn into a stylist right now. <laughs> exactly. Style. I want my hair like this now. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, somebody Girl. asked this. Uh, this this uh, brave. She asked, "What's your training routine? Like, what, you know, like what's your routine?" Like when I got some free time, like a little bit every night, and um, I, I want to look at some, you know, the course. I, I just read something somewhere that if you spend ten minutes a day on something that you want to learn about. So if it's like if you go on YouTube and say how to read a candle, and you spend ten minutes a day doing that, you're gonna perfect it. So I just feel like my, my training, my learning routine is just a little bit every day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you right now, I jump in the trade room every morning. Even if I'm traveling, I could be at the airport and I'm, I'm in the trade room. You don't even know where I'm at. I'm at the trade, but I'm in that room just listening. Even if I'm not trading, I just want to hear. I just want to see the charts. Like, especially like, you know, Jay points out many different trades every single day. And I, I'm just like honing in like, all right, why? Why do you feel that way? And, and if I don't know, I'm like, why, why do you feel that way? And if, if I also, I also challenge them in the trading room. If they say, oh, I feel like the stop sign is here. I'm looking at the chart myself. Like, I really feel like the stop sign is here because I'm looking at this level. What are you looking at differently than what I'm looking at? Um, because maybe my level is off. You know what I'm saying? Like, put me on. I want to know why you feel like, th you know, your stop sign is there or that's where you need to sell or buy because I don't feel that same way. Um, so, and, and it's, it's helpful to challenge everybody because everybody sees things differently. And like, yes. I want to know why you see it that way. Yes. Yes. And I think it's community, man. One of the craziest things that any trader can do is trade by themselves with their money. At the highest of levels, you, you have hundreds of people looking at a trade and they're going to take it with somebody else's cash. And here you are, no lie. You know what I'm saying? It took, it took a couple months, you know, like, well, you know, Facts. it took a couple months. But guess what? You learn how to trade. You did not know how to trade the other day. And now you know how to trade. You know how to trade so well that somebody's about to give you money to do it. How much money you getting for this? Like, what, what, what combine are you in? 50 grand, a $50,000 combine. Somebody about to give you $50,000 of their money so you can trade. That's facts. I'm going to tell you right now, um, I promised myself that when I make my first $10,000, I'm sponsoring somebody to be in this room. Hey, opa. That's what I'm going to do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's climbing and lifting. That's it. That's, That's it. a fact. Like, That's more people it. need we to climb. be here. <laughs> we climb and we lift. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 have, we have double jointed souls. We have to do what we have to do. You know what I'm saying? This is so much bigger than just us. Can you give me a little bit about that? Tell me a little about, bit about your devotion to people that don't have your last name, your awareness of community, you're seeing through the class that you matter more to to the people that you didn't know than even some of the people. Like, tell me a little bit more about that. Like, how did that hit? Man, I mean, it's just, it's, we, you just look around. Like, how many, like, it just, like, even when I just started posting about trading, like, like, real talk, I'm from the hood. And, like, my Facebook timeline is mostly, you know, most of my hood. You know, most of people who aren't really, you know, don't have that much going for themselves. And, like, They've been in my DMs like, oh, what's this? How you, how you do that? And they asking about the basics. They asking about how do they buy Apple? And I'm thinking to myself like, damn, like this is what we don't know. Like how many people in our community Yay! don't have the basic yeah, information, no. let alone talk about futures? I didn't know what future was till six months ago. Futures? What are you talking about? Like, that's a foreign language. So if I don't know, I'm an educated young black woman. I got a master's degree. I don't know what futures is. Why don't I know that? That's a problem. Right. That's a right. major problem. That's a systematic problem in our community that I don't, that I didn't know that six months ago. So I feel like it's my duty to at least do what I can to empower my community to know a little bit more about this, like something like just at least have the basic knowledge. Like I said, when my, when my brother come home, I'm teaching him this ASAP. Like, this is what you need to learn. I've been sending him books on trading, on investing, on black generational wealth, because it's not taught to us. We can't rely on our schools to teach our children this. You have to teach your children this. Right, right. They'll never do it. They'll never Facts. do it. And you somebody who give textbooks to kids for a living. It ain't you, in it. It ain't in it. Okay. 
Get when I when I was in school, they taught me the stock market. They taught me. They, they gave me a newspaper and was like, "Oh, read this chart." I'm not interested in that. But I was telling my best friend, like, tell your son. She he has she has a ten year old son. I'm like, tell your son to pick a stock based on what he likes. Oh, he likes Fortnite. Look up what company owns Fortnite. Let's see what what does their stock market look like. What does their chart looks like. Let's now let's put ten dollars into that and let's see where that goes. Let's teach our children to. To be interested in this, they should they should want to know who makes Fortnite. They making a lot of money off me, okay? Why why shouldn't I know? You know what I'm saying? Who are are, are they in the S and P 500? When I tell people, oh, I trade the ES, the S and P 500. If I told you how many people say, what's the S and P 500? I'm like, Jesus, you <laughs> you don't even know what that is. Like that that that, it, that is bigger than like it's bigger than you it's bigger than me like they don't even know what that is and that's why yes. when jay say this price this price is for the culture it's for those people yes that's exactly what it's about it's about breaking down the wall there's a wall that's been built and the wall is the wall around the knowledge and people don't have access to it and i'll be god doggone if i'm gonna be alive with this knowledge in my head you know what jay said you keep your bridges. We building tunnels. We get money all up under you. When he said, I'm like, you know, like, it's the truth, bro. Like, if all we got to do is build our railroad and we can keep taking people exactly where they're supposed to be. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? God bless us. So Harriet did it. You know what I'm saying? Why can't, why can't she inspire me? Why can't she inspire you to take people from one place to the next place, from not knowing to knowing? from having no access to having access. And, and the trip shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg. You shouldn't have to put up a month and a half salary to know that. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to do that. And I don't care whatever walk of life you from, you should have access to this material. And it's the bully way. That's Absolutely. what we do. Absolutely. That's what we do. That's the bully way. Um, Auntie CJ, what up? Auntie CJ in the building, what up, what up, what up? She said, how do you feel when you miss a day with the room or the community how do you feel listen man it's tough like of course we all have jobs like you know what i'm saying like there's days where we can't you know we can't jump in the trade room we got conference calls back to back you know you do what you can um i was in the trade room for, for 20 minutes today okay i was in there i got in on a debate there was debate today um listen there's debates every day in the trade room but you know we got i got in on a debate put my two cents in then i was like oh yeah yeah i submitted my combine today everybody gave me props i did a little twerk and then i was out i was gone <laughs> I, was, I was i was out i was out the room by like 9 45 in the morning i had made money <laughs> got in on a debate and i was still out the door by 9 30 so um you know, I, 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 I love the trade room. I love the people that are in the room. Um, they, man, this is just like, it's like black greatness just every day. Like, it's so many amazing people in there. Like, it's, it's crazy. And I mean, we debate everything from, you know, sugar in your grits, which I'm a sugar in your grits kind of girl. They're going to kill me in the morning. They're going to kill me in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so, I can't believe that. I thought I loved you. I thought I loved you. I thought, listen, oh. listen, they're gonna be they're gonna be killing tomorrow morning is gonna be crazy because they're gonna go in on me. But you know what? It is what it is. Sugar in your grits. <laughs> Jesus, Destiny. I thought I loved you. Listen. Look, guys, the live is over now. Um, I won't be saving it. It won't be going up. She likes sugar in her grits. I can't support that. <laughs> listen, people get kicked out, people get kicked out of the group chat every day, B. <laughs> People get kicked out the group chat every day. Every day. <laughs> so look, um, we only have a couple more minutes on this thing. I just want to ask because they're giving me the little like little thing. Uh, any last words for anybody, whether they be um, Bond Baby, a Braun Bruiser, a Brawler, or if they're not even a part of the community that um, has been a blessing to your life and so many other lives. Any last words to them? Man, I just say keep pushing forward. Like, just understand that this is knowledge that <laughs> doesn't come every day. Um, this is a, it's a blessing. This is an honor to have this man be able to give us this knowledge. Um, it ain't many people like it. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, if you try to take this course with somebody else, it could cost you up to $25,000. And, um, and this man is doing it for the culture. So I, I believe in Jay. I look forward to watching his greatness. I look forward to watching him grow. 
And um, I look forward to growing right along with him and being a great trader and, and, and pushing it forward and all the things that are going to come for this great and amazing group. Um, it's an honor and a blessing to be a part of this. And all I can say is join the movement, be the movement. We are the movement. And uh, thank you for this opportunity. Man, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for inspiring me. Uh, thank you for pushing for me. Thank you for, you know, trusting me. Oftentimes the people closest to you don't see it, you know. Um, I got family members that I told about this course that haven't become a part of this course. I have family members that I gave the course to that haven't opened it up yet. And for somebody who knows me, close to me, like know one another, for you to believe in what it was I was doing, I'm grateful for you. And you've inspired me in so many ways. It's like no fronting, like... I, you know, we like we know what it is. You know what it is. You, you like I know what it is, and I'm just grateful. Like you actually got it, and you got in there, and you rock with that market, and you stuck with it. And man, like you went from I don't know nothing to funded trader. I know I know traders that make thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars a day, and they cannot do what you have done. Like they cannot get through the combine. They cannot be patient. They cannot have self-control. They cannot have discipline. They cannot set limits for themselves. You know, and then you have done this. The amount of growth that I've seen, bro, like you're inspiring. And I just want to say thank you to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I thank appreciate you, it. You. Everybody, everybody, do me a favor. The Pumps and Politics, Bully, make sure that Cheers. you, you know, shout her out right now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, put a little pump on there if you got some pumps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> put a little bully muscle up for it. Throw some pumps up there for it. Congratulate her on being amazing. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you so all much. you guys. Y'all have a great day. Y'all be blessed. I really appreciate being in the room. I see y'all in the chat room in the morning. You already know Fridays, we got to get to the bread. Look, like we hey. always say, if you're a bully, go study. And if you're not a bully, you should become one. It's simple. <laughs> I'm a holler at y'all. Y'all take care. Thank you so much, Jesse. I appreciate it. Good night, y'all. Thank you. Good night, y'all. Good night, baby. <laughs> <laughs>